forward, you got it. Right, left, my man, back, forward, all together now, right. It's the simplest thing. Pacific Islander Festival. It is on September 21st and 22nd, which is on Saturday and Sunday. As you know, there are cultures all around the world, but this specific event is to celebrate Indigenous Pacific Islanders. An Indigenous Pacific Islander is someone who is Hawaiian, Samoan, Guamanian, and Togan. As fun fact, but every anybody could go to it. Fun fact, did you know that the Islander, the Pacific Islander Festival is the world's largest indigenous um, people celebration? See you later, cougars! Hey, Kelly Leaders. Today I'll be talking about SeaWorld Hollow Scream. This begins Friday, September 27th to Saturday, November 2nd. SeaWorld Hollow Scream is in celebration of Halloween and the fall season. There will be jump scares, mazes, Howl 5K run. I'm looking forward to going, and I hope you all get a chance to go too. There's a deal happening right now for 50% off tickets until September 27th, 22nd. Get them while they last. See you next time, KLA leaders. Hey everyone, did you know this past Tuesday was Constitution Day? Constitution Day is the day the U.S. Constitution was signed. US, the U.S. Constitution is a document that recognizes all those who were born in the U.S. Fun fact, this is considered the birthday of the U.S. Bye, K leaders. Mm -hmm. Hey, K leaders. Raise your hand if you were tired of the hot weather. I know I was. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that the weather's getting colder? Did you know that fall was called harvest in the 12th and 13th century? Also, aren't you guys so excited uh, for the breaks in October and November? You can drink hot chocolate and uh, and warm apple cider with your families. You can also go to pumpkin, pumpkin patches, scary mazes, and celebrate with gratitude and thankfulness. That's all. That's all, KLA leaders, and goodbye, summer. Hi, KLA leaders. Next month is Cancer Awareness Month. This means to recognize people with breast and liver cancer. Did you know approximately 300,000 women get diagnosed and 40,000 of them die? Did you know men can also get breast cancer? Well, let's just take the time to support the people with cancer. Bye, KLA leaders. Uh, hi, KLA <coughs> leaders. Today I'm gonna talk about San Diego Padres game. Did you know that San Diego Padres game won nine games in this month? And today, Today they're gonna they're gonna play a game versus Astros Astros versus Padres game today at night. Hey KLA leaders, today I'll be talking about National Gum Day on September 30th on Monday September 30th. But it doesn't mean you can just chew gum at school. Recently, gum has been appearing all around campus, and it doesn't just go away. In 2007, a, a British archaeologist student found a 5,000 year old piece of gum made from Finland bark tar. So if you don't want to join the gum scraping crew and maybe get a lunch detention, don't chew gum at school. Bye KLA leaders. Hey KLA leaders, today I will be talking about the Belmont Park Community 5K run. This run will take place at Belmont Park Sunday, September 22nd, 2024. This run is in support of Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. This race is 0 0.2 kilometers long, so that so the race will be 0 0.32 miles. Bye, KLA leaders. Hey, KLA leaders, fall starts on September 22nd, which is this Sunday. This also means that the time will fall back an hour on Sunday night at 2 a.m. and we'll go back to 1 a.m. This also means that we will get an extra hour of sleep on Sunday night before school on Monday. 
but also this means that it, it will start getting dark at around 6 p.m. every night instead of 7 p.m. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys all had a great summer and we'll have a great fall. Bye. Hey, Kelly leaders, today we'll be talking about how important it is to be in to time to class. First, um, you have to be um, in time to class and to school because you have to. Second, so you can have good grades. Third, so you can be responsible for yourself to be in time to class. Bye, Kelly leaders. Hey K leaders, today we're talking about National Conflict Day. National Conflict Day is a day to honor the art or artists and the story behind it. National Conflict Day is happening this Wednesday, the 25th of September. For, um, um, uh, if you guys like to read comic books, books, I hope you guys go to the library read and take out one. Well, some of my favorite comic books are that read for Woodby Kid, read by Jeff Kenny and also X-Men. Man, and I hope you enjoy what you're reading. And see you later. Uh, see you. See y'all later, KLA leaders. Do you know there's two astronauts is talking space right now as I speak? Their names are Butch uh, Wilmer and Sonny Williams. NASA sent two astronauts to space back in June. Um, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmer launched um, to space on a test five of Boeing's Starlink. This is because the engineers noticed a problem with the thrusters and healing leaks. So NASA had decided to keep them on ISS until February of, of, the, of 2025. Sorry. Last week, the capsule was sent back from the ISS. As a result, they're stuck in the ISS until next year. Bye, kill leaders. Leaders, today I'll be talking about National Brave Day. National Brave Day is on the 27th of September. It's a day to honor women who support, defend, and uplift each other. The day was founded in 2017 by National Day Calendar and Sweet Life for Women to honor their founder, Casey Stewart, who has been a huge help for making a difference in women's lives. Casey Stewart said, the day's goal is to inspire women to keep moving forward and be brave. And that goes for everyone. Bye, KOA leaders. Hey, KOA leaders. Today, I will be interviewing Mr. Kobo, who is an entertaining teacher. Sure, and uh, do you know that he plays Dun Dungeon of Dragon kids and also he's starting his own his own gaming club up in, in mid November? Yeah. And yeah. Alright, yeah, hey Steve, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, it's true. I played Dungeons and Dragons, a lot of you guys played with me. Over the summer, when is uh, when I can do that, it's called Numerous Adventures. It's really cool. And then, yeah, and we have in the works alongside me and Mr. Trio, uh, we're going to be starting up an eSports league, which is uh, should be pretty fun. We're hoping that we can start it up in November. And then, of course, we are going to be doing the Haunted House in October. Uh, uh, Mr. Copa, what, what made you work at KLA? Uh, when I graduated from SDSU, I wanted to see what it was like to be a teacher, so I came down here, I applied to work here at KLA. I was actually working on the primary side, and I've stayed here ever since. It's been awesome. Um, how was your school growing up? I, I went to small schools, very similar to K KLA as well. It's private Catholic schools, uh, you know, classrooms of about maybe 20 to 30 kids. High school was pretty small as well. And uh, it was awesome. I had a really good time. I swam. I was uh, on the swim team for four years in high school. And I was a captain of the water polo team as well. So that was pretty cool. How long have you been working at KLA for? This will be my ninth year at KLA. So I've been working four years on the primary, or on secondary side, and I've done five years for primary. And, um,. And um, how's it like, like uh, teaching with other teachers? It's really cool. I really enjoy teaching with other teachers. You know, you definitely have to be very aware of other teachers' personalities and stuff like that. But I figure I've got the personality to be able to blend mm -hmm. with other folks, so it works out well for me. Oh, um, how's it like um work? How's it like teaching other kids? I really like it. 
Yeah, I have I have three math classes, I support in a science class, and I have my own reach class, and I really enjoy all of those. It's really awesome. And I get to both work with sixth, seventh, and eighth grade kids. Thank you for being here with me. Of course. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Right, so that's it. Take care of the there's there's um make sure you to share this with your friends or families. Please uh, stay tuned for more interviews with other teachers and kids.